Hey, welcome back everybody. We're going to call this uh, kind of this uh, understanding vacuum tube uh, amplifier schematics part 4B. Um, the reason I'm going to call it that, I got some questions out there on um, underneath my part 4 video that was talking about how can AC and DC exist on the same point of a circuit. And I thought the questions were actually pretty good. I probably should have answered it this way in the original video. So this is just a supplemental video to help clear up the questions. Let me read you the question real quick. Okay, the question basically says, hey, excellent video, thanks. You keep making it clearer and clearer. But I'm in a similar place to some other people. Why does the high voltage on pin 8 not just vaporize the filament, uh, the heater filament? Um, the more he looks at this schematic, the more confusing that gets. Well, I'm going to try to explain to you now why the 400 volts sitting right here, actually 345 volts, doesn't just uh, vaporize this filament and um, why does the, the when you connect on pins 2 and 8 here and feed it with 5 volts AC why does that thing heat up and glow based upon the 5 volts AC and the 400 volts or 345 volts really doesn't, uh, doesn't apply or fry that uh, signal so for that I'm going to jump over to the amplifier real quick okay what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one side of this uh, multimeter right here and I'm going to take it over and I'm going to clip it on ground. Uh, as you can see here I've just clipped it to the chassis of the amplifier. And then I'm going to take the other lead here and I've got this voltmeter set on uh, DC volts right now. And let's go over here and let's measure pin number two. Okay we're clipped on pin number two right there and if you'll notice we have 351.5 volts sitting there on uh, pin number two. All right, this may help explain it all. When I come over here and clip on pin number eight, I have 351 volts. So, here's the reality. You have on pin two and pin eight the 350 some volts of, a, of DC. At no point even though pin 8 is sitting here with 351 volts on it, at no point is pin 2 grounded. If you were to ground pin 2, then from point 8 to ground you would have 400 and some volts sitting there and it would vaporize this filament in a second. Um, but the fact that the other side of the filament here, pin 2, um, is sitting at 350 some volts it's at the same DC potential. So there's zero, when you're at the same DC potential on one side of the filament as you are on the other side of it, there is zero voltage drop across that filament, thus it doesn't fry. Um, so it, like I said, if we grounded it, whole nother story. But because this winding here is floating, remember we said this was off, this AC is offset by 400 and some volts, um, that's, both sides of this thing are sitting at 351 volts in this case. Um, so as you can see, same voltage across. Like I said, if we took one side of that, took pin 2 and grounded it, the thing would fry immediately. But they're both floating up there. So really the only voltage change you have going on between two pins 2 and pins 8 here, let me show you. Oh, before I do that, let me show you this. This is what I've done. I've connected the negative lead of my probe here, or the digital multimeter, to pin 2. I've connected the positive to pin 8, and it is set on volts, I mean DC. Check out how many volts. Zero volts. Why is that? They're at the same potential. There's no voltage drop from a DC standpoint across them. Thus, if there's no voltage drop, um, zero volts. So, let me show you one more thing. So zero volts dropped across that DC, and that's because one side's not grounded. Both sides are sitting at that high voltage potential. Watch this, though. We're going to flip it over to meeting volts AC. And look at that, 4.65 volts of AC here on the uh, going across those two, and that's across the filament between pins 2 and 8. So that's how you're getting... Um, 5 volts AC here, lighting this thing up. And the reason mine's at 4.68 volts, 
Um, I've got a variac and I've got it turned down a little bit. It's not running at a whole 110 volts. Um, but you've got your 5 volt AC going across this. But both sides of this are sitting up at 350 volts DC, so there's no voltage drop across it. Thus, this uh, thing does not fry. Zero volts here across that thing DC-wise. Okay, I'm going to try to use a physical analogy to help you understand this a little better. So let's just pretend you are 300, instead of 351 volts above ground, you are 351 feet above ground. And if you're sitting on the top of a building and you were jumping up and down five feet on a little trampoline, you could go up and down five feet all day long and uh, you would not die. Uh, in other words, your filament would not fry. But if you got too close to the edge over here and you, may, you changed your reference point from ground, where this trampoline's at, from 351 feet, where you're going up and down five feet here, if you changed your reference point from here to now be down here, as soon as you jump, you're going to fall 351 feet, and the outcome of that will not likely be good. It's the same thing as if you took pin 2 on that output and grounded it. All of a sudden, your potential between pin 8 and pin 2 would be 351 volts, and the outcome of that would not be good. So. You can kind of think of it as, hey, maybe you're on the top of, you know, the tallest skyscraper in the world, jumping up and down five or ten feet, and it doesn't hurt you at all, even though you may be a thousand feet up in the air. Um, but if you uh, happen to get close to the edge and change your reference point away from the top of the building to the ground, um, uh, bad things happen. So hopefully this uh, maybe give you a little bit of a physical example that may bring it uh, a little closer to home just pretend as the uh, 5 volt AC voltage you're sitting on top of this building jumping all day long but the fact that pins 2 and 8 are both reference to the top of the building um, you're in good shape just don't change one of those reference points by grounding it thanks for watching everybody if you got more questions post them uh, we'll try to bring them along and uh, bring some answers to them thanks